What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. So last week I put together a video with the top 10 most valuable cards in my personal collection, and uh, people seem to really like that video. So I'm uh, planning on doing a lot more uh, PC show off videos like that. So we got another one here today, and this one is specifically about Bowman Chrome and Topps Chrome Gold Refractors. So anyone who follows the channel knows that I PC Manage Ginobili is one of my main guys in my collection. And I finally put together the complete sets of both Bowman Chrome and Topps Chrome Gold Refractors. It took me a long time to put these together, years I've, I've been chasing both these sets. Um, so now that I have both, I thought it would be a good idea to show off all of them together in the same video. Uh, I know a lot of people collect these, these two different sets. Um, and so I thought it'd be really cool to kind of show off the differences between them um, and just take a closer look and do like a full in-depth review um, of each card. So let's go ahead and start first with Bowman Chrome. So this is actually the newest card in my collection from everything uh, in the stack that I just showed off. This was the last one I needed to complete the full Bowman Chrome run, which goes from 2003 all the way to 2009, um, or sorry, 2003 to 2008, sorry, 03, 04, you know, 2003 card, but this is really for basketball, 03, 04. And then it goes all the way to 08, 09. So we'll take a look at each of them. Um, and this was the last one I got, and it might honestly be my favorite. This is serial numbered um, to just 50. This is a PSA 9. I bought this one already graded. Most of the other ones you'll see I bought raw and then graded myself later. But I just really like the gold shine on these. And we'll com compare and contrast the gold, how it looks um, on each level or each different year of the card as we go through. Uh, go through each year, but I really like that this one looks very gold. Um, so again, later we'll see some that look more kind of like copper or bronze, but it's got a super awesome shine. You can see that rainbow shine all the way through the card, um, even though it's just the borders that are gold. Uh, but I do really like the gold borders um, on this one a lot. So that's the 03 Bowman Chrome. Next one is the 04 Bowman Chrome. So again, we'll just kind of compare each of them as we go through. The gold was maybe not as saturated um, on this one, and it's a little bit um, slimmer in that you can only see, really the only gold on this card is just these um, pieces on either end here, but still a nice rainbow shine all the way through the card. Um, it's still a really nice overall gold color, just not as much gold on the 04 as you get on the 03. Both numbered to 50 though, so this was numbered to 50, and this one, where is the serial number of this card? Right there. That one is seven out of 50. So those are the first two. Next one, 05, another really nice gold color and really nice shine on this one. It's going to be hard to show all these. I'm not going to be able to hold like 12 cards at a time to show all of them in comparison. Um, I think this 05 got back to a little more of the true gold color from the 03. Um, and it also has a really nice shine. The border goes all the way around. Again, though, just the gold on the border, really not a lot of gold in the in the card itself. But once again, number to 50. And you'll actually, and so all, I'll, you know, I'm not going to, it's not like it's a, <laughs> a spoiler that I'm giving away, but all the, Bo almost all the Bowman Chrome Golds um, are numbered to 50. I'll specifically point out the one, uh, the one that's not. But those are the first three. Next one is 06. And honestly, until I got the 03, this 06 might have been my favorite. Because um, again, I really like the gold shine on the border all the way through. Really nice gold color um, on the borders and a really cool rainbow shine all the way through the rest of the card. Um, this one, numbered out of 50, again, 44 out of 50. This one I bought raw and graded it, got a PSA 8.5. I've only, I think, in the thousands of cards I've graded with PSA, maybe not thousands, maybe like over a thousand, um, or at least several hundred, I've only gotten two that have graded a PSA 8.5. So pretty rare grade. I thought it looked good when I sent it in. The only thing that was off was the centering. So top to bottom, pretty far off. Also a little bit off left to right. Never quite sure what makes them give an 8.5 as opposed to either an eight or a nine. I was hoping this would have gotten a nine, but 8.5, still happy with that one. All right, so there's the first four from Bowman Chrome. Next one, this is probably my least favorite um, gold refractor, not just in Bowman Chrome, but Topps Chrome as well. The, and, and again, now we can really compare it to some shiny stuff. So if you look at the shine and the gold on this card, it just seems to like it pops a little bit more on this one. And then 
Look at the borders. You only really see the shine in the background here. I'm not really seeing any shine hardly at all on the borders. And again, it's more of a dull gold color, not as bright as some of the earlier ones. So again, I'll just compare it to kind of all of these. So same thing here, shinier, more gold, kind of duller. And obviously same thing on these two that you already saw the shine as well. Not quite as good. And the other thing about this card too is it's the most common. It's numbered out of 99. So for whatever reason, they decided to change the serial numbering on the 07 Bowman Chrome Gold. There is a different parallel that's also numbered to 50 from this set. And it's the X-Fractor. And that one honestly doesn't look that great either. X-Fractors usually, usually look pretty good. But I don't know what went was going on with the, you know, the way they printed these cards. But the shine is just not not as good as some of the previous years. And then the last Bowman Chrome, 2008. So shine a little better on this one. So definitely better than the 07 for sure, if you can compare them side to side. Uh, but again, the color looks a little different um, and it looks different than pretty much all the other ones. So everything was kind of very gold and shiny on the earlier Bowman Chromes. This one, again, kind of looks a little more copper, a little more bronze. Um, than the true gold on some of these other ones. Let's compare it to these two as well. You kind of see the same thing. Just a little duller on this card. Um, but overall, still a really nice card. So these are probably my two least favorite in terms of color. Um, this one, I'm definitely my least favorite. <laughs> Unfortunately, that, that 07, not a huge fan of it. Um, but this was a nice way, uh, I think, to close out the series. Still nice and shiny. It would have been, I honestly would have liked it better if they used like, the, if the gold on this looked the same as the gold on this, this would be great because you can actually see it's like a thicker border, more gold all the way around. Um, this one's a PSA 7, so it's the lowest graded I have from all my gold refractors, but this one's jersey numbered, 20 out of 50. So sometimes I'm okay taking a lower grade if it's uh, something special like that. And honestly, PSA 7, the, the eye appeal on this card is awesome. Like. Look at the front of it. If you just looked at the front of the card, you'd never assume there's anything wrong with it at all. I think it got a seven just because of the dark uh, borders and corners on the back. And some of them were had a lot of white on them. It, honestly, it's, you, know, you can see it there, a little white in that corner, white down there. I'm honestly not sure why this graded so low. <laughs> I thought for sure we'd get at least an eight. So I was kind of surprised by the seven on that one. Uh, but there you go. There are all six uh, Bowman Chrome Golds. So now let's take a look at the Topps Chrome Golds and what kind of compare year over year. So this is the very first Topps Chrome Gold Refractor from 2003. Really nice shine on this one. You can see the rainbow all the way through. And again, it's interesting. It's almost similar to this 07 here where it's like, it's, you can see the shine better in the background of the photo than you can on the borders. Whereas opposed, a lot of the other cards had shinier borders. This one, same thing. If you look at the when the shine kind of goes through, you can see not really reflecting any rainbow shine on the borders. It kind of ends in the corners and edges of where the actual photo is. But still a really nice looking card overall. PSA 9, I think this is only like a pop three or four maybe. And there is one higher. There's one PSA 10 out there. This one is numbered to 99. So we'll see the numbering is different between Topps Chrome and Bowman Chrome. So even though these both came out, in uh, 03, the Bowman Chrome. Honestly, I think the Bowman Chrome looks better. If, if, if you're just looking at these two cards side to side, it's hard to make an argument that the Topps Chrome is a better looking card than the Bowman Chrome, at least in my opinion. Um, just better shine. And again, look at the shine on the on the borders all the way around, As whereas this one, you only see the shine on the photo, not in the border. I like the gold color better on the Bowman Chrome as opposed to the Topps Chrome. And it's more rare, 50 copies of this, 99 copies of that. but. I bought this, I won this at auction for like 160 some dollars and these PSA 9s probably go anywhere between like 250 and 300, uh, somewhere in that range. I think it's been a while since one of these sold, so actually I'm not sure what it would go for now, but I'm almost positive it would sell for more than the Bowman Chrome. All right, next up we got the 04 Topps Chrome Gold Refractor. Shine on this one, again, you can kind of see the same thing where it's very shiny for the photo, but on the gold sections of the border, kind of look a little more dull, not as shiny, same kind of gold color as the 03 as well. So not a huge change between 03 and 04 in terms of like style and print quality and color and things like that. 
both of these PSA 9s. Uh, this one actually, I think, is a Pop 2 and a PSA 10. Um, I'm not sure how many 9s there are. I think there's two, maybe three, something like that. So another very low pop card, but again, this one also numbered to 99. We'll get to some rarer uh, Topps Chrome Golds a little later, but these first few years are all to 99. So let's take a look at the next one as well. So again, very similar. You get a little bit, uh, again, not really. You can see where the shine goes and then where it ends on the, on the edge here. So again, not very shiny on the borders. And again, same kind of color gold. So 030405, I think very similar overall again, in terms of color, in terms of shine, print quality, and once again, serial numbering. This one also to 99, and once again, PSA 9. <laughs> All these were pretty, I think these both got nines because they were a little bit off center. You can see this one is a little right heavy and skinny on the left, and same thing here. A little bit right heavy on that card. This one though, I, I don't think you can get centering better than this. This is just 50, 50, 50, 50, dead on all the way around, top to bottom, left to right. So I was really hoping this was gonna get a 10. When I graded this, there were no PSA 10s yet, and I was hoping this would be the first one. I thought I had a good shot at it, but it just got a nine. But since then, there has been one 10 graded um, since I got that one. Okay, so first three years of Topps Chrome, and now this is where Topps Chrome starts to get a little bit better. This is what I'm talking about right here. So. This gold and shine looks a little bit closer to Bowman Chrome now. So I'm not sure what changed in Topps Chrome and why they decided to um, print these a little differently, but I love it. <laughs> this might be my favorite uh, Topps Chrome gold. Unreal shine all the way through, including the borders. You can see it's shiny all the way. The rainbow shine extends all the way through the borders. And actually, I think they did a really good job making, uh, these are both from 06. So the 06 Bowman and the 06 Topps Chrome look very, very similar. Uh, similar kind of borders, similar kind of name plates at the bottom. Um, really good gold color, really good shine on both of these. And this one is by far uh, the shortest print. This one is numbered to just 25. This one's 10 out of 25. Also a PSA 9. This is a pop one, only one higher. Centering's off, you can see it's heavy on the top. But other than that, top to bottom centering, it's a pretty perfect condition card, so that's why it got a nine. Um, there was no nines at all when I graded this, and you can see by the uh, uh, cert number, it starts with a nine. I graded this pretty recently, and at least recently. If you're watching this video when it goes live, I graded it recently. If you're watching this video a year from now, then I graded it a long time ago. Um, but at the time of recording, I graded this pretty recently, and this was the very first nine ever graded for this card. Like I said, there's one PSA 10 which I've never seen, never even seen a photo of it, never seen it available, sold or anything. Um, so this is probably as good as I'm gonna do uh, for that card in terms of grade. I actually used to have uh, the PSA 8 of this card. It was the jersey numbered copy, 20 out of 25. PSA 8, I ended up selling it and uh, this one popped up pretty shortly after that. And I was, able, I was glad I was able to pick that up and complete these sets that I needed to complete. All right, next one's another really cool one. This is 08 Topps Chrome, very famous set uh, for a lot of reasons, mainly for the photography. Um, so if you've ever seen the LeBron James card from this set, it's the infamous chalk toss where he's kind of smacking his hands together and the chalk is going flying above him. Also the Kobe Bryant card from this set um, has LeBron guarding him in the card. So two very famous photos on both of those. So it's a pretty, pretty good set. And again, pretty good gold if we compare it to um, the 06. I think the 06 is still a little bit shinier. The 08 is pretty close, but something about the 06, I really like the gold color all the way around. This is maybe just slightly duller, but still a really, really awesome card. Still better than the other cards. I don't think I really compared these first three. So again, looking at these first three here, and then the big change um, to this year. So I, I don't think there's any question in my mind that they, they made some really big improvements in 06. Um, and I actually should point out that we skipped ahead of a year. So if you notice the Bowman Chromes went from 03 all the way to 08, didn't skip a year. Then we got to 06 for Topps Chrome and then we skipped right to 08 because for whatever reason in 2007, they did not make a gold refractor in Topps Chrome. I, I cannot understand that decision. I don't know why they didn't make one. I would love to have an 07 uh, Ginobili Chrome gold refractor, but I don't unfortunately. 
Um, the rarest refractor from 07 is the X-Fractor. Well, no, sorry, there's the red refractor to five, I think. There's a Superfractor 101. But I guess whatever took the place of the gold that was numbered to 50 became the X-Fractor numbered to 50 from 07. Um, they brought the golds back in 08 and made these numbered to 50. Um, the X-Fractors in, in this year were numbered to 288. So a lot easier to find the X-Fractor in 08 compared to 07. But 08 had the gold, 07 had none. This is a PSA 10. This is the only gem mint out of all these cards here. There's mostly nines, like an 8.5 here or there, um, and uh, the one seven, <laughs> but most of them are nines. This is the only 10 that I have. Um, so really happy with this one. I actually, this specific card went on, it was kind of sold and resold a bunch of times. I know I saw some, the person who I bought this from had bought it on PWCC prior to them being bought out by Fanatics at the time. He bought it at auction there and tried to sell it on eBay and I ended up winning an auction for way less than what he paid <laughs> a few months before on PWCC. And then since then, I've actually seen copies of this card um, sell for even less than I paid for it a couple years ago. Uh, but still, very awesome card. Really love the 08. And then the last one, 09. So in 09, Tops made a set, Bowman did not. So that's why the 2008 is the last one from Bowman. There was no 2009 Bowman Chrome set. Tops made a set in 2009 right as they were losing the license. So this is the first year Panini started making cards. Tops made one set and included all the Tops Chrome and all Tops Chrome refractors in the base top set as uh, parallels and inserts to find. Um, and actually, if you look at this one, it looks like they kind of went back more to the original gold colors and made it not as shiny on the border. So again, you'll see the shine going through the card, and when it gets to the border, it just stops. So for whatever reason, the borders are not shiny, and the 09 looks more like those first couple. I kind of wish the shine was a little better like it was on 06 and 08. You can see a eh, little bit uh, duller in comparison, and the gold color is a little bit different, but still an awesome card. Love the photo on this one. This one's a PSA 8, so out of all my Topps Chrome ones, this is the uh, lowest numbered copy. I think the PSA 9 is just a pop 2, and there are no PSA 10, so this is a really tough card to grade. A lot of them are off-center, but I um, I didn't mind this 8 because um, I actually have owned a 9 in the past, and I think the 08 has better centering than the 09. Um, or, sorry, the, the PSA 8 that I have had better centering than the PSA 9, so I didn't mind keeping the PSA 8 on this one just for the centering. So, wow, that does it. 12 different uh, gold cards, and I'll give you one more treat at the end. There we go. <laughs> Not technically a true Topps Chrome um, gold parallel. This is from the Topps 1952 set, but the parallel is called Chrome Gold Refractor. So technically, Topps Chrome Gold Refractor. It, it is one, but it's not from one of the uh, flagship sets. And the shine on this one is actually really interesting. Um, it's a little bit different than a lot of these other golds. You can see more of a rainbow. You can see kind of different colors. The yellow, the blue, the, or well, I don't know what the colors of the rainbow are. Violet, indigo, whatever, whatever the actual names are. You can see the rainbow more on some of these. This one is not so much of a rainbow as it is just more of like an intense uh, hollow shine that you might see uh, like on a paper hollow card as opposed to a gold refractor. But not technically part of the Topps Chrome uh, run, but had to show it off anyway. 10 out of 25, PSA 9, very awesome card. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all on the next one.